From the Omni in Atlanta, Georgia, the finals of the AT&T Challenge were on serve in the second set. John McEnroe having won the first set, 6-3, took him 36 minutes right now. He will serve this the fourth game of the second set. Service. Well, Becker needs to, as I said before, I, I believe, stop guessing or anticipating where John's going to serve, wait, and try to react. Seven aces is too much in one set. Well left by John. Thought about it. Pulled the racket away. John, John continuing to serve into Becker's body. He doesn't want Becker to get a full swing at the ball. It sounded like something pops, but I guess not. Just popped it wide. Arthur, you talk about Becker's fine temperament for the game, that he uh, has that poise, which is unusual for a fellow that age. Well, he's very well coached. His strokes are quite sound, although I don't like his service toss all the time. And he's just naturally gifted. So let's take a look at John McEnroe's delivery for first and second serve. First serve on the left. Second serve on the right. And you see that the tosses are not too far apart. Back to live action, 30 all. Let this nip the tape. We have like a finish amount of playing new balls. I mean, do you keep throwing in new balls? No. It's the same six in the three games. Right. John is asking about new balls. Matches have started with six balls. They change it at nine and eleven. First serve. First serve. <laughs> Drew a laugh there. John's been Rodney Dangerfield this He really week. has. <laughs> I still... <laughs> His best line of the day was yesterday when part of our booth was falling apart. He looked up to Arthur and said, Arthur, run while you still can. <laughs> Here comes McEnroe. What a reflex for him, Bali, that was. The ball nicked the net. John got the racket head up, got it back over, eventually won the point with a forehand volley. And there's nobody better at the net, is there? And watch this. It nicks the net, gets the racket head up, back cross court, and now John's going to put this resulting forehand volley down the line for a winner. All right. 40-30. Oh. When you're playing like this, the confidence just has to grow. Too bad he can't follow it up next month. Deuce. It's very difficult to pick up where the windmill backswing, which Becker uses with his semi-western grip forehand. That's saying a mouthful, but that's the way it is. He takes a big windmill swing. Tough to tell where it's going to go. You mentioned the grip. He really is rare is it, for a fellow to grip it like that, that hammer grip, yes, isn't it? Yes, hammer grip, semi-western. He hits his serve the same way, which is very rare. But he, he's just so strong, he can get away with it. Beautifully played shot from Boris Becker. The problem here is that John's serves are falling a bit short, allowing Becker to 
put a bit more topspin on the ball, and it's got, the ball is dipping, so John McEnroe is picking his first volley up around his shoelaces, or about knee height, and then putting the next ball away. Big opportunity for Boris Becker. But not going to get it on that point. He crushes the ball. We're back at Deuce. being lobbed over. It's just not going to happen very much. Hey. Becker's going to have to get a, a disguised last minute lob to keep his opponents honest. tell you, he's hitting that ball harder than anybody the game has seen since Lou Hogue. <laughs> harder than Lundell. Oh, um, yes, I think so. I think the players would agree. Harder from both sides than Lundell. Lundell they didn't hit his backhand that hard anyway. All the time. Service winner from Becker, and it's 30 left. I had no hesitation when matching the players up in the power category, giving the nod to Becker. In fact, I'd give him two nods. <laughs> I'm not sure I'd want to be that uh, center linesman. Sitting there, spread eagle. Again, he didn't lob. He just refuses to lob, even though he had plenty of time there. Is that because he's not... years old he wins by sheer power he thinks that's what's going to win for me and he just doesn't try it of course that's a great lesson for juniors the lob is one of the most underused but powerful shots in the sport not used nearly enough john a master at it jimmy connor is a master at it that's long and 40-15. Morris Becker.